As you approach the lock, look out for the lock keeper. They will advise when they want you to enter and what side of the chamber they want you to go to. Make sure your crew are ready. Life jackets on, someone on the bow with the rope neatly coiled and passed under the rail, and one at the stern. If there are just two of you, then the skipper usually handles the stern line. Don't worry about putting fenders out at this point. Of course, if you've had experience using them before, that's great and feel free to do so. But the boats are all built with a line of thick rubber fendering and this will be quite sufficient to protect the side of the boat whilst it's in the lock. Approach slowly, watch out for any problems. Make sure you know where the wind is coming from and your crew member should throw the rope up from the end of the boat which is facing the direction of the wind first. Your skipper should then engage a small burst of reverse gear to bring the boat to a stop and then put the engine into neutral. The lock keeper will then pass the rope around the cleat or bollard and then pass it back to the crew member. When you have the rope back, put a turn around one half of the cleat to make it easier to keep control of the rope and adjust the tension. Then hold on firmly. The other rope is then passed up to the lock keeper and then back to the crew member who puts a turn around the cleat and then again holds on to the rope. Do not tie the rope to the cleat. The water level will be changing, so you need to be able to adjust the tension of the rope when the height of the boat changes throughout the locking. When both ropes are ashore, then your skipper should switch the engine off. When all of the boats are in the chamber, the lock keeper will close the gates and open the sluices. This will then flood water into or out of the lock, depending if you're going uphill or downhill. When this happens, there can be quite a lot of turbulence in the water, which will cause your boat to move around. Hold onto the rope firmly. At some locks, there's a rise or fall of several feet. At these locations, the lock keeper will throw a rope down to you instead. This makes life much easier. When the lock gates open, keep holding on to the ropes. The skipper can switch the engine on, but wait until you're told to move off by the lock keeper. Make sure your steering is central and turn your thrusters on. Before moving off, make sure both lines are back on board. It's really important your skipper pays full attention to what's happening with the ropes at both the bow and stern of the boat. It's a good idea for the crew to communicate that the ropes are back on board before the skipper moves off. Once through the lock, coil up the ropes. Make sure they're ready for the next time you need to use them. Always make sure there is no way the ropes can fall over the side. At Fort Augustus, there are five locks. Here, the crew will have to pull the boat through by hand. The times of the next locking are shown on the clocks that are at the top and bottom of the lock flight. It takes about an hour or so to complete a full locking here. The first locking of the morning always starts at the top and locks down. When the lock keepers are preparing for the locking, they will come over to the transit berths and discuss the procedure with you. Sometimes there's a particular order they will need you to enter the lock. This can depend on the boat size, so please always assist with their request. When instructed, head into the first lock chamber. The water level will rise, and then when this locking is complete, two crew members should then step off the boat and pull it through the remaining locks the stronger crew member should handle the stern line. Remember, there will be quite a lot of turbulence when the sluice is open, so you need to pay attention and hold the ropes firmly. If you have a third crew member, then applying small short bursts with your bow thruster will help keep control. You'll find the lock keepers very helpful and obliging, and they will always do their best to assist you along the way. <laughs>